Hi, Kim here from StampingImperfection.com. I'm here with a really quick tip on um, stamp storage. And some of our stamp sets come in a set of a package of two, like the Daydream Medallions, for example. This is box one of two, and then you get box two of two. There are five stamps all together, but they, because of the way they're cut, they come in two separate packages. So what I'm going to do, because I love how these store, but I don't really need them to take up this much space on my shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these boxes and you'll notice they they come like this. So I'm going to take this out and I'm keeping this circle because this circle when I remove the um, this paper backing this will work great on one of my clear sets, or one of my clear blocks, that'll work great. Now I have a circle image that I can stamp. Like that is so perfect. That's like getting an extra stamp in my pack. So I'm going to take these out, and I've used these a lot, so the paper backing is already off. So I'm just going to put all of these in one package. Now, on this, in the second package, what's amazing about the second package is when I took these apart and started using them, and I'm not going to throw this out because I might be able to make some squares or something else out of these pieces. So I have a box I just tossed these into. The back is sticky, and I have another thing I'm going to show you with that. But with the second package, when I these came like this, this was one of the the little throwaway things, and of course I'm not going to throw this away because it looks like a little ring. And you never know, like, um, what kind of little, you might have a little stamp that fits perfectly in this, and you want to stamp a color around it. There it is. That's perfect. And then the center of the last one is a smaller dot. So this will make a perfect circle stamp. So I'm going to put all of these in one package, just like this. They store quite nicely. And I'm going to take this right out of here like this. I'm going to save this because I can decorate this because something will slide in here. I can put pretty decorative paper in here. I can use this for embellishment storage. I made a video on that. I created this with my My Digital Studio and I use it to store my pearls and rhinestones and googly eyes and I keep it right next to me with the sh on a shelf. I also did a quick video where I just used a couple of punches, a stamp, picked a designer series paper that I liked, and I put a pad and a pen on the inside. The de designer series paper is so perfect for this because it's two-sided, so the inside of that looks beautiful. So save that second case, and now you can store the single stamps that you bought that we now sell, and you can decorate it any way you want, or you can create a great gift out of this. So. It's a, just a great thing. So I'm going to take this that I just pulled out. I'm just going to fold this part back. And I'm going to put this now. I'm going to slide it on the back. In the back here, I'm going to, I slid that in the back so that I can see all my images. Now another thing that I do with a lot of my stamp sets is I take the stickers. Because I don't put, I have a lot of trouble once I put the sticker on, I actually really do have a lot of trouble getting them to stick to the packaging or to the, um, excuse me, I have a lot of trouble getting them to stick to the clear blocks. So I'm going to take this back off like this and I'm going to put this in here and I do this with all of them so that when I clean up, I can see if I'm missing one. I just stick it to, I just stick it to the DVD case or the stamp the clear stamp case, I should call it, and then I know when I open it up if one is missing, then I know that it's missing because I have all of those, I'll stick all of those on, so that's another tip. Now, something else that I saw, somebody took these backings off this part, they took the backings off this part and saved them. And she used that as a stencil for when you want a sponged background with around your stamped image. She used these as a stencil for that background image. So I'm going to store those inside this case too so that I can have that as a stencil for my, store, my stamped image. So that's just a few quick things to help you store them in a slightly smaller area 
and utilize more parts of that. So the daydream medallions, don't throw that extra stuff out. You just never know what you're going to do with it. And don't forget the backing paper on this part, or even this part, you could use this part to stamp in, or you could put this down on paper and spritz inside it to give yourself a really pretty background to stamp on. So keep these things. Don't throw them away. Thanks for watching.